Welcome to the Vintage Girl Next Door. My name is Lacey and today I'm going to show you how to do this half poodle hairstyle. So if you want to see how I got this look, then stick around. Okay, let's do this. So last night I set my hair in pillow rollers and I actually wasn't sure what kind of a hairstyle we were going to do today, but as you can see, it works out into a half poodle. So I'm just gonna take all of these pillow rollers out and then brush it through. And some people have asked me where you can get pillow rollers and I found mine at a yard sale, <laughs> but I do think you can get them at Walmart. Um, there's a Conair brand that has them. Super curly, bouncy curls. And I'm just gonna take my wet brush and start brushing through. And as you can see, it takes a little while to get it all brushed through. Now I'm just taking a little bit of hair pomade. I'm sorry I didn't show you, but it's a Garnier one. And I'm just going to work that through. This one is pretty good with keeping down the frizz and kind of smoothing without being sticky. It's kind of more of like a lotion-y consistency. And then I'm just gonna brush that again and work that pomade through. And then I'm taking my tail comb and we're gonna do a little bit of teasing. I'm just gonna tease the top section of my hair. And I'm also using a little bit of my Big Sexy Hair Get Layered hairspray um, as I go because my hair is clean. So I want to give it a little bit of texture. So I'm using that Get Layered hairspray. I'm just teasing in small sections across the top of my hair. Zoom in a little bit so you can see a little bit better. <laughs> I'm just using that Get Layered Hairspray. Give it a little spray. And then do a little bit of teasing on the other side just to match as far down as I went on the left. Now I'm taking my spore net little wonder back combing brush and I use that to smooth the hair a little bit and I'm going to start forming some curls. So I'm just taking little sections of hair kind of wherever it wants to naturally be together and then I'm twisting that into more structured curls and then I'm going to bobby pin it. Would you like to swing on a star? Can remove in so many jars. I'm just going to do that all over the whole top 
of the hair, all of the section that we teased, we're gonna just smooth little sections of it and roll it into some little curls. And you don't have to bobby pin all of them, just wherever it feels like it needs it. By the way, if you hate to go to school, you may grow up to be a mule. Or would you like to swing on a star? Calorie movies all in a jar. I'm sorry, I'm making a grouchy face this whole time. I don't know what my problem was. <laughs> I don't know if it was bright or what. With dirt on his face, his shoes are a terrible disgrace. He ain't got manners when he eats his food. He's fat and lazy and extremely rude. But if you don't care a feather or a fig, you may grow up to be a pig. Or would you like to swing on a star? Can't remove this home And I didn't speed any of this up because I just wanted you to be able to see just my process of taking the pieces and twisting them and placing the curls. On to fill that people is his only thought And though he's slippery, so gets caught But then that sort of life you're gonna wish You may grow up to be a fish And you can leave it a little more um, fluffy up there if you want. I just like to do it this way. So I like the way it looks with this more smooth curl look. Swing on a star, can remove beans home in a jar, and be better off than you are. Or would you rather be? Sorry, that's a little bit cut off. But basically, just the same process twisting it down around my fingers and rolling it into a little curl. And by the way, if you hate to go to school, you may grow up to be a mule, or would you like to swing on a star? Calorie movies all in a jar, and be better off than you are. Got a lot of hairs coming out there. <laughs> Had to keep dumping them on the tree. A terrible disgrace. He ain't got manners when he eats his food. He's fat and lazy and so we are getting a little pile of curls up there. I'm gonna give it a spray with our get layered hairspray. And be better off than you are. Or would you rather be a fish? A fish won't do anything but swim in a brook. And I'm just kind of fussing with it to get it to lay the way I want it to. That one curl on the end was kept kind of flopping over, so I ended up having to re kind of repin that one. But just keep keep shaping it until it gets to where you want it to be. When all the monkeys are in the zoo, every day you meet quite a few. So you see, it's all up to you. You can be better than you are. You could be swinging on a star. Just adding bobby pins where you feel like you need them. and re-rolling curls if you need to and then pinning them. A meal is an animal with long funny ears Geeks up at anything he hears His back is brawny and his brain is weak It's just plain stupid with a stubborn streak And by the way, if you hate to go to school 
You may grow up to be a mule Or would you like to swing on a star? Okay, and then I'm going to take a um, section behind my ear and pull that back and pin it in the, the left side. You can see I just pulled it back and then let the end kind of mold into the curls. It's all up to you. You can be better than you are. You could be swinging on a star. Would you like to swing on a star? Carry moonbeams home in a jar and be better off than you are. Or would you rather be a mule? A mule is an animal with long funny ears, kicks up at anything he hears. His back is brown and his brain is weak. It's just plain stupid with a stubborn streak. And by the way, if you hate to go to school, you may grow up to be a mule. Or would you like to swing on a star? And then I do the same on the right, but that one I actually rolled into a little um, little pin curl roll and pinned it that way. Because I thought it looked better that way. His shoes are a terrible disgrace. He ain't got manners when he eats his food. He's fat and lazy and extremely rude. But if you don't care a feather or a fig, you may grow up to be a pig. Or would you like to swing on a star? Count removing beams on the jar and be better off than you are. Or would you rather be a fish? A oh, fish won't do anything but swim in a brook. He can't write his name or read a book. On to fill that people is his only thought. And though he's slippery, so gets caught. But then that sort of life you're gonna wish. You may grow up to be a fish. When all the monkeys are in the zoo, every day you meet quite a few. So you see, it's all up to you. You can be better than you are. Swinging on a star. Would you like to swing on a star? Carry moonbeams home in a jar and be better off than you are. Or would you rather be a meal? A meal is an animal with long funny ears, kicks up at anything he hears. His back is brown and his brain is weak. It's just plain stupid with a stubborn streak. And by the way, if you hate to go to school, you may grow up to be a mule. So that's pretty much good for the top section. And then for the part that's down, I just went ahead and brushed it out with my Spornet Little Wonder. 
and shaped it that way. And then I went in with the big sexy hair spray and play to solidify my style. So yeah. You may grow up to be a big, or would you like to sway on the side? Count removing some of the job and be better off than you are. Or would you rather be a fish? Oh, a fish won't do anything but swim in a brook. He can't write his name or read a book. On to fill that people is his only thought. And though he's slippery, so gets caught. But with that sort of life you're gonna wish. You may grow up to be a fish. As you can see, it's got a good little wave in the back and then the curls on the top. And that is it for our half poodle hairdo. Thanks so much for watching my video. I hope that you enjoyed it and I hope that it was helpful. If you tried this hairstyle, please let me know and tag me on Instagram. I would love to see. And if you're not already over there on Instagram, I am there at Lacey Faye. And I would love to have some new friends over there. So go ahead and click the link in my description and you can find my, me on Instagram or Facebook. And also thanks so much for all my new subscribers. Welcome uh, to the Vintage Girl Next Door. I'm so glad that you're here. And if you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and feel free to do so. And we will keep going with all the vintage style and hauls and everything vintage. Okay, thanks. The monkeys are in the zoo Every day you meet quite a few So you see 